Okay, let us jump in. Start a new career. Well, of course we have to do a custom shepherd. Custom female. Please log Jessica. It's just Jessica Shepherd. I don't know why, but that's our shepherd's name. Let's just go classic soldier. A bonus talent. Electronics or decryption? I wish it would tell me what these were. Uh, decryption? Confirm. That is not my appearance. No, that's awful. Let's do it. Profile reconstruction complete. Oh, why does she look so weird? Profile reconstruction complete. Okay. That'll do it. Here we go. Hardcore. Please. Insanity. Adventure begins. Well, what about Shepard? She grew up in the colonies. She knows how tough life can be out there. Her parents were killed when slavers attacked Mindwar. She proved herself during the Blitz, held off enemy forces on the ground until reinforcements arrived. She's the only reason Elysium is still standing. We can't question her courage. Humanity needs I a swear I didn't choose great. And Shepard's the best we've got. Did I make a granny I by accident? Call. In the year 2148, explorers on Mars discovered the remains of an ancient space-faring civilization. In the decades that followed, these mysterious artifacts revealed startling new technologies, enabling travel to the furthest stars. The basis for this incredible technology was a force that controlled the very fabric of space and time. They called it the greatest discovery in human history. The civil Realizations of the galaxy call it Mass Effect! The Arcturus Prime relays in range, initiating transmission sequence. Commander. Damn it, Jenkins. You're gonna die in like 30 seconds. Spoilers. We are connected. Calculating transit mass and destination. The relay is hot, acquiring approach vector. Station secure for transit. Board is green. I swear she looks so much better than the character creator. Oh well. We're stuck with that for three games. <laughs> Love a good mess effect one particular character. Commander Shepard to meet me in the calm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? He sounds angry. Something must have gone wrong with the mission. <laughs> Captain always sounds like that when he's talking to me. Can't possibly imagine why. Go. Good old potatoey Mass Effect 1. Say hi to Jenkins. He's gonna die in five minutes. What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. Oh, you're I gonna sincerely get some. hope you're kidding. Faction Corporal. is a bullet to the Your face. real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. Relax, you need Jenkins. to calm down, Corporal. A good soldier stays cool even under fire. That's Sorry, alive. Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. You'll do fine. He's not gonna do fine. He's gonna die. Hey, Just treat this like every other assignment you've had and everything will work out. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. This mission isn't Chill. about personal glory, Corporal. We have a job to do. Don't do anything stupid to mess it up. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. What about? I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. They say it's a paradise. I think it's about time we told the commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. That's obvious. I already figured that out. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. A research team on Eden Prime. Unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. 
Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Get down! We are under attack, taking heavy casualties. I repeat, heavy casualties. We can't... Get evac. They came out of nowhere. We need... Reverse and hold at 38.5. Take us in, Joker, fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. Engaging stealth systems. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. Understood. Ready and able, sir. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck. Dang. We are approaching drop point two. Time to uh, experience insanity. Ship perimeter secure, Commander. Oh, that's the grenade button. Got it. Yep. Yeah, that's what I have most of. Oh! Get down! Surprisingly effective. I forget there's no reload button. It's not the like Oh, f <laughs> That's gonna take a lot of getting used to. And bye bye, Jenkins. And three, two, one. Jenkins is dead. Okay, and one. Easy. One, two, three. What is insanity, hey? Was there a challenge here? I'm gonna be eating my words in about five minutes. Rip right through his shields. We ran a chance. Yeah, forget about him. <laughs> Poor Jenkins. Oh no, my friend just died. I oh, forget about him. But just... Just leave him there. Oh, he deserves we'll a burial. We'll see that he receives a you know? proper service Honor, once the mission Mr. is Jenkins. complete. But I need you the to true stay hero focused. of Mass Effect. Aye, aye, man. More gas bags on the side. One, two. And okay. one, two, three. Got nice. some burned-out buildings here, Shepard. A lot of bodies. I'm gonna check it out. I'll try to catch up with you at the end. Man, this side is great. Two more. Somewhere. Four. Easy. I'm just gonna double check. Am I playing on hardcore? In, I mean, insanity? No. I am. Oh, here's my favorite squad mate. Ashley. Can I just leave her there? Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. Oh, damn. He the one who charged your ma'am? We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. I think they're Geth. The Geth haven't been seen Poor outside Geth. the Vale in nearly two years. Things. Why are they... They must have come for the beacon. Oh, stay here. <laughs> yeah, don't come with us. Lieutenant Olingo like and I will take care of this. Let me come with you, ma'am. The Geth slaughtered my unit. Give me a chance to get even. She knows the area, Commander. And we could use the extra firepower. <laughs> Fine. Just don't forget who's in charge. To. Understood, Commander. You give the orders and I'll follow them. What? Oh, oh my gosh, my shepherd is awful looking. How did I do such a bad job? Okay, let's shoot something. Oh, there's no cover button in this game. You just have to run at the cover. That's not great. And now. Oh! Spicy! And 
somewhere. Okay, there's one over there. Who's shooting at that? One, two. And that one's hanging behind the rock. Got it for now. Shot my friend. That is a really bad hiding spot. And now, that's it. Let's go. See how effective this assault rifle is. Damn it! I'm not gonna get used to that. <laughs> Whoa, what the? Oh, that was my accidental grenade. It's a good place for an ambush. Yeah, those Keep things are friendly. Oh god, they're still alive! The death do to them. General still alive is quite the word I'd use. Oh god damn. There we go again. <laughs> it's really hard not having a dedicated reload bot. Who's it? Humans. Thank the maker. Don't worry, we'll protect you. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. Uh... What's wrong with your assistant? Oh. Manuel has a brilliant mind, but he's always been a bit unstable. I can shut him up. <laughs> I gotta do it. I, I gotta do it. I gotta, gotta punch the poor guy in the face. Say goodnight, Manuel. <laughs> Why does she have to do it so creepily? My voice must be heard. Say goodnight, Manuel. Oh my god! What, what did you the do? heck? That might have been a little extreme, Commander. You can't just go a around whacking people in the head. <laughs> Punched him in the face. Just a little bump on the head. Oh. Let him sleep it off. I and they knocked him right. unconscious. By the time he wakes up, the meds will have kicked in. You're not a very good doctor if you think he's gonna be fine. You don't just lose consciousness for being punched in the face and be fine. <laughs> Williams, take us to the okay. spaceport. Good luck, Commander. Good luck being the world's worst doctor. Can I stand on him? Oh, oh I can just put my foot through his face. It used to be beautiful here. Shut up, Ashley. You look like a potato. Saren. Cal, how do you not trigger that this guy is a bad guy? He looks like a bad guy. This isn't your mission, Completely Saren. Completely freaky blue what are you doing here? robot bits. Just the screams screams you screams bad guy. Some help on this one. It's so sad. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I have it under control. control. Nihilus is just a really shitty story. How did you not see that coming? Oh no, I'm just gonna turn my back on the bad guy. It'll be fine. He looks perfectly safe. What is that? And not ready to stab me in the back of the head. Look at the size of that. Ah, this is Space Lobster. Bye, Space Lobster. Oh, I should probably actually uh, pay attention. Coming out, we're not armed. It's okay. We're all on the same side here. We're just farmers. We've been hiding ever since that ship first showed up. Hey, Cole, we're just a bunch of farmers. These guys are soldiers. Maybe we should give them the stuff. Jeez, Blake, you gotta learn when to shut up. The stuff, hey? You have something to tell me, Cole? Some guys at the spaceport were running a small smuggling ring. Nothing major. In exchange for a cut of the profits, we let them store packages in our sheds. I found a pistol. I figured it would come in handy if those things came back. But you'll probably get more use out of it than we will. Is that all? 
How is that the Paragon option? We're risking our lives to save this colony. You sure there's nothing else in here that could help us out? Yeah, the there's spawn. one more thing. Oh, he's copying me. Great. This over, but you probably deserve it Thanks, Cole. Oh, Commander. poor Nihilus. It's Nihilus. Poor Nihilus. Once again, someone gets shot in the back of the head and yet falls backwards. I don't get it, but okay. A Turian? You know him? Ashley's so offended. You know an alien? Inspector, he was with us in the morning. Something's the moving. Aliens Over behind those crates. Wait! Don't! Don't shoot! I'm one of you! I'm human! You ain't human. You're a coward. I like the way you hid behind those crates during the fight. Really helped us out. Thanks a lot. Me? Damn, but, Jessica. But I'm just a dock Let worker. I don't even have a weapon. There were two Turians here. Your friend and another one he called Saren. I think they knew each other. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I hadn't been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. You're Cole's contact here on the docks. For the smuggling ring. What? No! I mean, what does it matter now? So I'm a smuggler. Who cares? A shipment of grenades came through last week. Nobody notices if a few small pieces go missing for the military orders. You're just gonna say you that to the military. Son of a bitch, we're out here trying to protect your sorry ass, and Who's all you can think about is how nothing. you can rip us off. I never thought you'd actually need those grenades. Who'd want to attack Eden Prime? We're just a bunch of farmers. How was I supposed to know? You yeah, pathetic. I mean, I really want to roast Ashley. Cause I don't like Ashley, but I like Powell less. Hand over those grenades now. They're yours. Take them. My yeah, I think I'm giving up on going swear. Paragon. It's too much fun just being ready. We need to find that beacon just before it's too late. People. Take the cargo yeah, train. Jessica's, That's where the other Jessica's Turian went. Savage. I need to get away from all this. What was that? Uh, um. really hard not to hit reload because there's no reload. Okay, let's go. And gotcha. And uh... oh, very nice. That wasn't even me. Teammates doing all the work. Can you stop shooting me, please? You are my friends. I'm very good at being friends. And come on. Up you come. Up you come. Okay. You know what? I'm just gonna come over there and get you. Just stay right there, nice and cozy behind your cover. Using it uh, one, two, three. Oh, that was a sneaky shield. Set the charges. Destroy the entire colony. Leave no evidence that we were here. Just so awkwardly just standing there. So you've just arrived in a combat Demolition zone. charges. Just, the just death chill for planet. a minute. Hurry! Oh, we no need to find them all and shut them down. Sniper. Let's go. But that is okay. Can I make this? I can stop glitching all over the place. Oh, I didn't think it was that. 
mostly gun. Yeah. Who needs cover? This is cover based shooter. Not me. Not me. Well, I'm very scared. I'm getting caught. Come on. Come on. Is that it? Okay, one more. Someone. No, there you are. There you are. There you are. Easy. As if I'm in any danger whatsoever. Ha! I laugh in the face of danger. I also probably die too. Uh, sabotage. What are you shooting? about finding the tutorial mission easy. Surely there wouldn't just be this empty bit of space. For no risk, there it is. Empty bit of space is never truly an empty bit of space. <clears throat> I don't know why I tried to make it sound like that was deep and philosophical. It wasn't, it's just logic. Oh, more loot. It's in the cutscene. They can't stand close to it, but now I can get like right next to it with no effect. Normandy, the beacon is secure. This is amazing. Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something Don't must have activated. go towards the light, kid. Don't Roger, Normandy. It. Standing by. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't go towards the light. This is how you die. Have you never watched a movie before? Evil glowing alien object is never not evil. <laughs> Good Jessica, just <laughs> rip Jessica. Poor Jessica. What a way to die. Imagine if that was just the end of the game there, just the end. Shepard died. We identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime. The Normandy. That tops a little bit. Uh, a human alliance vessel. A little bit revealing? It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. Ah. Ra. Ah. Such a sassy little dodge. Doctor? Dr. Chakwas. I think she's waking up. You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? Like the morning after shore leave. <laughs> How long was I out? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. I had no way to know what would happen. The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. And the blast knocked you cold. Williams and I had to carry you back here to the ship. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Signs typically associated with intense dreaming. More like I saw... Now. I'm not sure what I saw. Death, destruction... Nothing's really clear. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? I feel bad about Jenkins. Yeah. Poor Jenkins. At least he got to level up. Before he died in the first five minutes. What a loser. I don't like soldiers dying under my command. Jenkins wasn't your fault. Jenkins you did a good is job, the Porkins of Mass Effect. I don't like oh. soldiers dying. I feel so life. bad about him dying that I say it Jenkins twice. Jenkins wasn't your fault. What happened to Williams? Did we leave Am Gunnery Chief Williams her? back on Eden Prime? I figured we could use a soldier like her. She's been reassigned to the Normandy. 
That's a mistake. I don't want her on my ship. Nope. I'm the captain of this ship, Commander, and I want Williams on our crew. You wanted to talk as if you haven't just been talking for five minutes. You said you needed to see me in private, Captain? I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. Jenkins the was is dead. And Gether invading. That's the most the serious going to want answers. I didn't do hide. anything wrong, Captain. Hopefully the Council can see that. No, we're just doing the right thing. Even if we're I'll really bad I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren. That other Turian. Saren's a specter, one of the best, a living legend. But if he's working with the Gith, it means he's gone rogue. A rogue specter's trouble. Saren's dangerous, and he hates humans. He hates humans, but like all humans hate Turians, so it's, it's pretty fair. But Saren has allied himself with the Gith. I don't know how, I don't know why. I only know it had something to do with that beacon. We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology, blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction, whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation, his politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. You're right. I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a specter. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the Council on our side. Understood. We prove Saren's gone rogue and the Council will Simple. revoke his specter status. I'll contact the Ambassador yeah, sure. and see if he can get us an audience with the Council. Sure, the Council. Do He'll that. want to see us as soon as we reach the Citadel. Hey guys, uh, so at this point in my recording, uh, all of my audio decided to corrupt. So that's great. And because I'm me, and I'm a bit of, you know, not the brightest person, I hadn't saved in the first three hours of gameplay. And because my audio corrupted after the first hour and a half, I've had to go back to the start and speed run the opening of Mass Effect up to where I was up to uh, from the original recording. And hopefully my audio doesn't corrupt this time. So my Shepard, uh, she looks a bit different. Uh, that's just because I had to create a new Shepard just for the uh, purpose of this half of this video. Uh, so for the next video, we'll be uh, back to the original Shepard. Uh, just in case you were wondering why uh, I look completely different and also why Shepard looks completely different. Anyway, enjoy this half of the video and I'll see you at the end. Here we go. Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. Ship of the Citadel fleet. Well, size isn't everything. Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying you need firepower too. Look at that monster. Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. Clearance granted. You may begin your approach. Transferring you to an Alliance operator. Roger, Alliance Tower, Normandy out. I have to say, this is Alliance Tower. Please proceed to Dark This new Shepard that I'm using looks so much better than original Granny Jessica Shepard. Outrage! The Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony? The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Saren? You can't just ignore a rogue Spectre. I demand action! 
You don't get to make demands of a council ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Saren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Damn, Just the ground team from Eden Prime. In case you have he any is questions. Such I have an the ass. mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Saren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. Saren's a threat to every human colony out there. He needs to be stopped. The Council has to listen to us. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. Hardly my fault. Not hers. Thank you, Anderson. We better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. And that's why I hate politicians. Have to agree with Ashley. As much as I hate agreeing with Ashley. Also, how am I taking so many steps but moving so slowly? <gasps> I can moonwalk. Hey, it's Gary. Saren's hiding something. Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the council. Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. Good old Gary. Commander Shepard, Garrus Vicarian. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. Who were you just talking to? That was Executor Palin, head of Citadel Security, my boss. He'll be presenting my findings on Saren to the Council. Sounds like you really want to bring him down. I don't trust him. Something about him rubs me the wrong way. But he's a specter. Everything he touches is classified. I can't find any hard evidence. I think the Council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. They won't. They don't listen to anyone. Sorry, Gary. You'll get to come with us soon. Also, my favorite thing about Mass Effect 1 is that you can just fire weapons around people at the heart of the Galactic Council and nobody cares. And that's really loud. many bullets into this man and not not a care in the world hey mr purple turian oh, so i can't shoot the purple turian but i can shoot i can shoot seat guy are you even real seat man no one cares about this at all oops that's a grenade no one cares about a grenade going off either the hearing's already started. Come on. The Geth attack is a matter of some concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow Spectre and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. You're the one who destroyed the beacon. Then you tried to cover it up. Shift the blame to cover your own failures. Just like Captain Anderson. He's taught you well, but what can you expect from a human? Saren despises humanity. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that. That's not his decision. Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor, and mine. 
I know we're going Paragon, but he just really, really annoys me. You can't hide behind the council forever. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? It's not wrong. I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. He just looks so evil. This like, does no one else notice that? Like, Council? All the creepy robot bits? Screams, bad guy. It was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the Council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. We need to deal with Saren ourselves. As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the Executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. I won't waste my time with that. You won't Hawken. have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. You can't just cut Captain Anderson out of this investigation. The Ambassador's right. I need to step aside. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's Den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wards. I thought you said he was a drunken loser. Couldn't hurt to go talk to him. Just be careful. I wouldn't call him reliable. I should go. Okay. Good luck, Shepard. I'll be over in the ambassador's office if you need anything else. Okay. That guy's up to something. What? Oops, didn't mean to talk oh, to this no. guy, but oh well. Never mind. That's not suspicious. Just tell me what you're doing. I'm not here to get you into trouble. All right. I guess it wouldn't hurt to tell you. I'm using a small scanner to gather readings on the Keepers. So far I've had mixed results. I find it difficult to get near the creatures. I'd like to do it more openly, but it's not really worth getting arrested over. I can help you out. I'm not worried about the authorities. I don't even know who you are. I'm Commander Shepard with the Alliance Military. Hmm. Well, I, I suppose I could use the help. You'll need this. It's the scanning device I developed. Activate it each time you see a Keeper. All collected data will automatically upload to my database. Okay. I should get going sure then. Thing. Yes. Yeah. I have much work I'm not myself. actually going to finish that so mission. And I'll scan them anyway just for the extra XP, but I'm not going to finish it. It'll take forever. And now watch as I actively go and find them as I just said that I wasn't going to do. And we're going to scan this Look keeper for no reason. Thing. Please do not disturb the that keepers. That bug thing. Did you miss that entire conversation that you were a part of a few seconds ago? Well, we were talking about those bug things and the fact that they're not bug things. They're keepers. Ashley, get with it. Okay, I'm gonna scan them just because they're there. Ah, it's another keeper that I said I wasn't gonna scan. I just realized this is a remix of the Mass Effect theme. Wow, another keeper that I'm not going to scan. That's her. Ah, assassins. Um, 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 weapon. I don't know why I'm surprised by these assassins. But I knew we're here. Uh, wow, okay. That was sneaky. And the last guy. Go. Yeah. 
was what done. And no one cares that I'm shooting at the strip club. Also, this is just incredibly awkward. Like, why are you, why are you doing this while this girl just dances? Back off, Rex. Biz told us to take you down if you showed up. What are you waiting for? I'm standing right here. This is Fist's only chance. If he's smart, he'll take it. He's not coming out, Rex. End of story. The story is just beginning. Out of my way, humans. I have no quarrel with you. What was that all about? Who knows? Let's just try not to get caught in the middle. As if we're not about to go and do exactly that. Hey there, sweetheart. You looking for some fun? I gotta say, that soldier get up looks real good on that body of yours. What a gentleman. Why don't you sit your sweet little ass down beside old Hark and have a drink? Let's see where this goes. Man, you're disgusting. I'd rather drink a cup of acid after chewing on a razor blade. You trying to hurt Je my Jessica? You gotta do better than that. Well, Jessica 2.0. Renaming the book, princess. Call me princess again and you'll be picking your teeth up off the floor. Now tell me where Garrus is. Okay, okay, just relax. Garrus, you say? Mm. You must be one of Anderson's crew. Poor bastard still trying to bring Saren down. I know where Garrus is. You gotta tell me something first. Did the captain let you in on his big secret? Sorry, just tell me where Garrus is before this gets ugly. But it's all related, don't you see? The captain used to be a specter. Didn't know that, did you? It was all very hush-hush. The first human ever given that honor, and then he blew it. Screwed up his mission so bad they kicked him out. Of course, he blames Saren and says the Turians set him up. Why should I believe a drunk like you? Fine, ask Anderson. I bet he tells you. He's too stupid and proud to lie right in your face. Why'd they kick him out? Have to ask him. I never heard any of the details. Bet it's a good story, though. The hero's fall. Classic tragedy. <laughs> Just tell me where Garrus went. Garrus was sniffing around Dr. Michelle's office. She runs the med clinic on the other side of the wards. Last I heard, he was going back there. I'm out of here. I wish. Oh, look, I found a creeper that I'm not going to scan. This joke is getting old, but I'm still going to scan them all. Even if it's not funny anymore. Big place. <laughs> that your professional opinion, sir? How can they keep tabs on all of this? The Presidium may as well be on another planet. There is definitely a gap between their presentation and what's here. Tracking arrivals must be a nightmare. This makes Jump Zero look like a portage on, and it's the largest deep space station the Alliance has. Jump Zero is big, but this is a whole nother scale. Look at the ward arms. How do they keep all that mass from flying apart? <laughs> big club, big place, big club. No wonder the council treats us like outsiders. We'd be just another drop in a bucket they already can't carry. They must figure us for one more gang of FNGs looking for a handout. I doubt it's personal. It's got to be a balancing act, like every other government. Why not? We've got oceans, beautiful women, this emotion called love. According to the old vids, we have everything they want. When you put it that way, there's no reason they wouldn't like you. I mean, us. Humans. Them. You don't take much shore leave, do you, LT? All right, laugh it up, Chief. I appreciate the thought, Alenka, but we're on duty here. Uh, I... I I didn't tell anyone, I swear! That was smart. Hey, Gary. Now if Garrus comes around, you stay smart. Keep your mouth shut or we'll... Who are you? Let her go. Ah! Such a risky shot! Sanity difficulty. Think we got him, Commander. Oh, really, Ashley? You think? 
Hey, Gary, what's up? Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot at that bastard. You took him down clean. Sometimes you get lucky. Dr. Michelle, are you hurt? No, I'm okay. Thanks to you, all of you. I know those men threatened you, but if you tell us who they work for, we can protect you. They work for Feast. They wanted to shut me up, keep me from telling Garrus about the Quarian. What Quarian? A few days ago, a Quarian came by my office. She'd been shot, but she wouldn't tell me who did it. I could tell she was scared, probably on the run. She asked me about the Shadow Broker. She wanted to trade information in exchange for a safe place to hide. Then what? I put her in contact with Fist. He's an agent for the Shadow Broker. Not anymore. Now he works for Saren. And the Shadow Broker isn't too happy about it. Fist betrayed the Shadow Broker? That's stupid even for him. Saren must have made him quite the offer. That Quarian must have something Saren wants. Something worth crossing the Shadow Broker to get. She must have something that proves he's a traitor. Did the Quarian mention anything about Saren or the Geth? She did. The information she was going to trade. She said it had something to do with the Geth. She must be able to link Saren to the Geth. There is no way the Council can ignore this. Time we paid Fist a visit. This is your show, Shepard. But I want to bring Saren down as much as you do. I'm coming with you. Welcome okay. aboard, Garrus. Let's do it. You know, we aren't the only ones going after Fist. The Shadow Broker hired a Krogan bounty hunter named Rex to take him out. Yeah, we saw him in the bar. A Krogan might come in handy. Last I heard, he was at the CSEC Academy. What's he doing there? Fist accused him of making threats. We brought Rex in for a little talk. If you hurry, you can catch him at the Academy before he leaves. Move out. Okay, well, uh, goodbye Ashley. <laughs> Time to never take her out again. <laughs> And now we have Gary! Oh look, it's another Keeper. That I'm not gonna stand. And I'm just gonna keep making that joke over and over again. How many of those Keepers are there? Scan the Keepers. Oh, eight times. Sorry, I meant eight times. I'm nearly halfway there. You only have to hear that same You're joke another 12 more times. I'm Witnesses saw you making threats in Fist's bar. Stay away from him. I don't take orders from you. This is your only warning, Rex. You should warn Fist. I will kill him. You want me to arrest you? I want you to try. Go on. Get out of here. Do I know you, human? My name's Shepard. I'm going after Fist. Thought you might want to come along. <sighs> Shepard. Commander Shepard. I've heard a lot about you. We're both warriors, Shepard. Out of respect, I'll give you a fair warning. I'm going to kill Fist. Fist knows you're coming. We'll have a better chance if we all work together. My people have a saying. Seek the enemy of your enemy, and you will find a friend. I think we're gonna get along just fine, Rex. Let's go. I hate to keep Fist waiting. Um, so now that we have Rex... And we have Gary. Time to never take a human out on a mission again. Uh, we are gonna get along fine. Uh, I was just playing, uh, I'm just gonna play this little clip. And I'm just gonna leave that there. Just good old Rex, just having a boogie. This nose good. Please stop standing right in front of my scope. Okay, slowly. Slowly. Wow, this is a really slow cooldown. I should just change weapons. Oops. There we go. And now, assault rifle. And overkill. Yep. Wait for the 
cooldowns on around this side. Oh, he nearly got me. Did he, just, did he just trip over? Like he was still alive when he hit the ground. And there we go. Two last dudes. Poor dude. Feels sorry for him. He just watched all of his friends get murdered. Okay. What's up? Stop right there. Don't come any closer. Oh wait, they're shooting us. Uh, I, I, I don't think we were supposed to shoot these guys. Oh well. Imagine if I just died Area secure. to a civilian warehouse worker. Overkill, let's go. go, go, go. Oh, I nearly died. Okay. Oh, oh. Nice Actually successful grenade. I don't think that achieved anything. Wait for a heal. So, taking a while. Just not getting any shields back. There we go. And over to the shot. Wait! Don't kill me, I surrender! Wait, we didn't even shoot first. He just gave up. Uh, smart move. Where's the Quarian? She's not here. I don't know where she is. That's the truth. Paul and Tali. Just the Quarian. Wait, wait. I don't know where the Quarian is, but I know where you can find the her. The Quarian has a name. The Quarian isn't here. Said she'd only deal with the Shadow Broker himself. Face to face? Impossible. Even I was hired through an agent. Nobody meets the Shadow Broker. Ever. Even I don't know his true identity. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set a meeting up. But when she shows up, it'll be Saren's men waiting for her. Tell me where that meeting is before I blow your lying head Yeah, off. this is really a Paragon playthrough. They're in the wards, the back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you hurry. What are you doing? The Shadow Broker paid me to kill him. I don't leave jobs half done. A lot of people died because of him. He had it coming. Now let's move. We have to save that Quarian. This is really not a very good Paragon playthrough, is it? Okay. We're on a timer. Four minutes to get to the Quarian. Who has a name. What's up? That's the way you just stand there so I can shoot you in the face. Stand up. Stand up. Oh, don't stand up, that's okay too. This guy's just really scared of me. Okay. Yeah. Um, still, I don't think I'm ever gonna learn which uh, weapon wheel is which. On switching powers when I'm supposed to be switching weapons. And he's down. Did you bring it? Where's the Shadow Broker? Where's Fist? They'll be here. Where's the evidence? No way. The deal's off. What a slimy dude. <laughs> what is that awkward little run? Such an awkward little run. And he's down. Last dude. Oh, that, oh, that, there we go. Okay. 
Okay, I didn't need to do anything. Just set me up. I knew I couldn't trust him. Uh, You've got give me the evidence. Saren is working with the Geth. Hand it over. Not so fast. Who are you? I don't have time for questions. I need the evidence you have against Saren. I guess I owe you. But not out here in the open. We need to go somewhere safe. We could take her to the human embassy. Your ambassador will want to see this anyway. You're not making my life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wards and all-out assault on Korra's den. Do you know how many... Who's this? A Quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? This Quarian can help us bring down Saren. I would have told you that if you hadn't jumped down my throat. I apologize, Commander. This whole thing with Saren has me a bit on edge. Maybe we should just start at the beginning, Miss... My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. We don't see many Quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage. My rite of passage into adulthood. Tell us what you found. During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Veil. I was curious. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. What did you find out? Most of the core was wiped clean. But I salvaged something from its audio banks. Something incredibly convenient. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. So convenient they happened to find the one Geth that happened to know that. Saren won't get out of this one. Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. I feel like I've heard that name before. According to the Memory Core, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life. And they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. The Council is just going to love this. The Reapers are a threat to every species in Citadel space. We have to tell them. No matter what they think about the rest of this, those audiophiles prove Saren's a traitor. The Captain's right. We need to present this to the Council right away. What about her? The Quarian? My name is Tali. Finally. You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. I'll take all the help I can get. Thanks. You won't regret this. Anderson and I will go ahead to get things ready with the Council. Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the town. Come on. Udina's presenting the Quarian's evidence to the Council. She has a prime was a major victory. Beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status, and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Benezia. About time someone listened to me. She must be working with the Geth, too. Matriarch Venezia is a powerful biotic, and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. Then they vanished. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. 
That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Face looks so Do we even know what this conduit is? Saren thinks it can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. I tried to warn you about Saren and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. Once again, utterly incompetent. Morons. 50,000 years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The Council has stripped him of his position. That is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! A fleet cannot track down one man. A Citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. Every time humanity asks for help, you ignore us. Shepard's right. I'm sick of this council and its anti-human bull- Ambassador, there is another solution. A way to stop Saren that does not require fleets or armies. No, it's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. It was a Turian Spectre who betrayed this council. And it was a human who exposed him. I have earned this. Here we go. Commander Shepard, step forward. It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Branch of the Citadel. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. I'm honored, Counselor. We're sending you into the Traverse after Saren. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. I'll find him. This meeting of the Council is adjourned. Congratulations, Commander. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Officer. Anderson, come with me. I'll need your help to set all this up. I thought the Ambassador would be a little more grateful. He didn't even thank you. What do you expect from a politician? Come on. Right behind you, Shepard. So there we go. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, it's time to say goodbye to our new friend, uh, not Jessica Shepard. Uh, next video, we'll be back with actual Jessica Shepard. And this Jessica will forever live in this moment. Unless I stuff up my audio again and then have to quickly speed roll with this Jessica in order to catch up to the correct audio so I could re-record. Sorry for the kind of broken video, uh, but thank you very much for watching. 
If you did enjoy, please like and subscribe if you want to continue following this series. And I will see you in the next one.